What's up, Tweenerheads? Welcome back to another Tweenerhead Tennis video today here on our channel. If you're new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil, and this is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to find out what's going on on and off the court. And today, we have a craft. We have a DIY craft for you guys because it's quarantine and we need stuff to do. Today, if you haven't heard of Flex Seal, Flex Seal! <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage! I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have zero clue. I have a mask, I have gloves, and this is gonna be a dirty craft today. So today we're gonna be, if you, if you need strings and you can't afford them right now, take an empty box, cut out the cardboard, and use some Flex Seal to replace it. I have no, I literally have zero idea how this is gonna go and how I'm gonna be able to do this, but let's give it a shot. All right, so first, we also have the can of Flex Seal, but we're not gonna use that today. Uh, we have my Turner grip that we just wrapped our. Yonex tennis racket, which is the best tennis racket out there. Don't at me. With us, newspapers flying all over the place because this took way too long to cover. So let's see. All right, we're gonna just, where are my scissors? We're just, I don't even know how this is gonna go. Um, in terms of crafting, my craft history, I have none, unless you count that macaroni and cheese kind of stuff when you were a kid in craft class or art class. Oh my God, I am already, What? what is this box from? You know what? Scissors aren't working. Ah, oh, that actually kind of worked. That actually should work pretty well. Let's see, I need to take, I'm gonna use this part of the box. Nope. Things fly. Now we're just gonna, now we can use the scissors. Now using the scissors seems fair. Ha! All right, so. That doesn't look that bad. This does not look that bad. I think we can actually do this. What is with this wind today? All right, so maybe I need a box cutter. I need a box cutter. Eh, screw it. Because the whole goal of this, look, I, there are definitely different ways to do this. There are definitely different ways to do this. But for me, and for the purpose of this video, wow, that's so loud. They're doing construction right now on our on our road and it's the most annoying thing in the world. It wakes me up at 9 a.m. Yes, that's not early, shut up. The purpose of this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cardboard from this, use Flex Seal to kind of put it together and we're gonna shape it. And then after it dries, because according to the this, it takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry before applying another coat. That doesn't feel like a Phil Swift thing to do. I feel like if you're Flex Seal and if you watch the commercials, I feel like you'd be able to block anything or cure anything in less than an hour. But it's coming along very nicely. I definitely need a box cutter. A few moments later. Okay, so I found this. This kind of looks like brass knuckles if you turn it to the side and hit someone with it, but I think it's a box cutter, but we may never know. The blade is rusty. Oh my God, this looks terrifying. I am not the best with crafts or tools. I will willingly admit that, but I will try. All right, so it's time to, we're gonna. That doesn't look half bad. That really doesn't look half bad. I know you can barely probably see this, but for me, from what I just did, this looks fantastic. All right, so now we're gonna take the scissors, kind of help it along a little bit. This is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Not gonna lie, I thought I would just do cardboard box, flex seal, go. Nope. Prepare, find tools, throw litter in my own backyard. Oh, this wind has been get, making me annoyed. Ah, I almost cut my finger off. That turned out really well. Oh my goodness, look at that. Call me a crap expert. All right, so now that we have this, we are now going to use 
The flex seal. I have no, come on, no idea. All right, so let's get these on. I don't know if you can still hear me with this mic, but we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some gloves on too, because apparently, because apparently according to this, you need protective eyewear and gloves. I'm wearing flip-flops and an old shorts and shirt. This is not how I imagined it going. I always imagined doing flex seal on something cool. And I think I am, but I never imagined it to just be, let's, like it's point, it's not like a point and shoot type of thing. It's literally be fully prepared for this. All right, let's do it. Gonna move my glasses. We'll just put them on my head and No idea. <laughs> I think I need to like put something on top of it to like weigh it down, you know? <gasps> <laughs> Genius! All right, this is perfect. I have no idea about the required amounts or anything. So we're literally spraying as much as we can to make sure it sticks onto the cardboard. It's already drying really fast, which is great. But I think... I think the first part's done. Now we wait another 24 hours until it dries. See you then. Day two. All right, let's go get it. There she is. Just looks like a blacked out racket. All right, so this needs to go outside. So this is what it looks like. There's not that much to look at. Basically it looks like I just took it and painted it black. But now time for the final test. I will say it's not very aerodynamic and I have to only use this side <laughs> when it comes to hitting the tennis ball, but we got our wall that we've been using for the past 50 something days since we've been in quarantine. Yeah, that's gonna be our test subject. This is what we're testing, so let's give it a shot. Sounds like a fun sound. Actually has a lot more bounce than I anticipated, so. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can go full power on this. Say, look, two different colors. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you for the next video.